Welcome back. After no video for quite a while. So finally I managed to complete few more soldering activities. And then uh, I managed to uh, catch up with some videos. So basically, as usual stuff, I keep track of my pie progress. The one that I highlighted here, basically the one that I have completed the soldering. And you know, I'm not doing this daily. I only do this during the weekend. So easily I will forget what I've done, right? So having a good track of this kind of uh, small paper will be good to make sure that I know what was my plan and what I had done. So yeah, basically that's what I used to do. So put aside, let's see the progress so far. Uh, here I've made a couple of uh, progress. You can see here more components being soldered here. And let's take a quick look on that. So you can see here TX2575 from Fize being configured in series. I use a small Teflon kind of uh, sheet as a base because this TX2575 is quite fragile. So I feel it's better if I can use this kind of small base to strengthen the kind of uh, construction. And this one actually for the cathode resistors for the first input tube 12 AU7 and this is the cathode capacitors famous uh, blanket non-polar the red color kind of a capacitor which is quite famous and this uh, audio notes tantalum silver resistors 2 watts this one I believe as an input grid and you can see some TKD 2 watts uh, metal film transist uh, resistor as a uh, grid leakage, grid leak uh, resistor. And then quick look to the other side of the construction. We can see more components here. Uh, Rican resistor, the famous blue metal uh, carbon film, carbon film resistor. This one, let me increase the ISO a bit to give a better uh, contrast, brightness. So I also configured this Rican RMG uh, in parallel uh, to, to get the resistance that I need. This one actually for the second tube 12 AU7. And this will be bypassed by the audio not Kaisei non-polar. This one I configure the capacitor in Super E uh, mode. Super E is very famous kind of a black cat configuration. Basically, you put two non-polar capacitors, kind of uh, not saying back to back, but you connect the positive to the negative and the negative. To the positive and and you know non-polar capacitor they don't have polarity right but you just simply need to connect the longer lead to the shorter lead and the shorter lead to the longer lead because what they are trying to cancel basically the inductance because non-polar they have no polarity but they have the inductance right so by configuring this capacitor in super e we expect to cancel the inductance right so they should be able to which people most people believe deliver better quality. Of course, non-polar capacitors is more expensive and then having two for each will be like doubling your cost. Anyway, this project is, I, I don't think there is a, any way back, right? So yeah, just go to the top. And the rest, quite straightforward, the famous audio not silver tantalum, two watts, huge uh, resistors quite pricey and I believe this is for the anode resistor position both for the, the first and the second tube of of uh, 12 AU7 so this is only the half side of, of the 
of the circuit, right? So I, I, I'm yet to complete the, the rest of the side here, right? So there should be the same two Kaisei here and the same four seal for Tantalum on this side. Then I think I, I have completed this kind of uh, section of this, of this uh, kit. So quite interesting. It's still kind of long way to go. But I believe the toughest part here, quite small circuit, should have been completed within, I believe, the next few sessions, few weekend sessions. And yeah, this is uh, also the TKD resistors, not so much in the critical circuit, I believe. And this one also another Synco 1 watts. I couldn't find 2 watts, so best to use whatever I have now, 1 watts, Synco Tantalum. And what else? Uh, not so much. I believe this is the appearance of the project so far. You know, some people might be questioning why I'm doing this, right? So basically, this is kind of my own personal uh, style. I like to build things I like to build things in the proper and good kind of artistic a bit. So not, not easy to kind of uh, ban all these uh, leads, right? Especially you need to really pay a lot of attention, make sure they are not touching each other and they have enough space for everyone here, right? And then of, of course you can see here as well, I need to ban it perfectly to make sure that it will fit to the right uh, position, which is again, it's kind of uh, giving me some uh, way to exercise how to put the right components in the right place. It not only should sound beautiful, but it also need to be like a good looking kind of uh, arrangement. So it's not only feast for your ears, but also feast for your eyes. So yeah, that, that's why I think I spend a bit more time running this. There are some people questioning why, kind of like this, right? You, you can just simply put the components, right? And you don't have to spend so much time arranging these kind of things. But again, as a part of my OCD side, and I, I really like of kind of uh, setting up all these things. So yeah. Basically, that's it, and yeah, I like this one also. I use the Recon RMG uh, Gold Lid, so I put extra head string here, so I can really arrange the two capacitor to audio here in the proper position. So yeah, I think this is why or how. I like to do this in the right way, in a proper way, and I hope the result will be like what I'm expecting. So yeah, this is it. So yeah, basically that's update for today. So looking forward for more soldering activities during this weekend. So hope I can get these things done sooner and we can continue with the listening test so that's all for today enjoy the weekend happy easter and see you again bye bye